what is up guys welcome back to the channel my name is day and this video is going to be about how i passed the comptia security plus exam so i took the comptia security plus exam about an hour ago right here on my desk and i'm just i'm just going to be highlighting my experience with the exam my past experience in relation to this exam is i have taken the comptia a plus and network plus so i'm pretty familiar with how comptia exams work I took the A plus in July, I took the Network Plus in September, and I took the Security Plus this month, which is November today. And so that's kind of like a like a two month time span between both exams, uh, so I can just kind of re relate to the previous exam because uh, something about computer exams is they have a lot of overlap. So if you've taken the previous exam, then the knowledge kind of applies to the next exam in that difficulty. So that's something to keep in mind, um, at least for me, because I have taken both both the A plus and Network Plus, and I would recommend for anyone if you can afford it, um, go through the A plus and Network Plus. It's really really good material, and it will it will help you with your Security Plus. But it, it is also possible to take to study and take the Security Plus without having the A plus and Network Plus. I've also done videos for um, how I passed the A plus and Network Plus, so. I will leave links for them in the card somewhere up here. Um, also, in regards to experience, I have been working as an information security intern for the last couple of months. So I was able to relate some of the things I was learning um, in my internship to things I was studying and things I was studying to things I was learning in my internship. So those two kind of work hand, hand, hand in hand. Um, so it's not really much experience, but it did help me with my study. So that's kind of something to also know for me. Um, because um, I don't know what kind of experience you might have. So just for you to know that I do have like a certain level of experience, not much. And I also have taken come to exams. So those have helped me greatly in preparing for this exam and passing this exam. So a brief overview of the CompTIA Security Plus. Security Plus is an entry level cybersecurity exam that validates your knowledge of the fundamental skills and and principles and things you need to know for the basics of cybersecurity generally. So if you are trying to get into cybersecurity, um, Security Plus is a really, really highly recommended entry level certification for anyone who wants to get into cybersecurity. Now, how did I study for this exam? So the first thing I did for this exam, and I always recommend for CompTIA exams, as I've done in the past, is to print out the certification objectives. The objectives highlight every single topic and every single domain that you would see in the exam and it's about 28 pages long so um this is quite lengthy never plus and a plus objectives are not this lengthy this is it's 28 pages but it's everything you need for the exam it's all the topics everything that the exam would cover and you would definitely need it i used it the first thing i referenced when i started preparing for the exam was the objectives while i was studying i would reference reference the objective and even up to today when i took the exam before i took the exam i still reference the objectives because i had to brush up on some certain topics um especially cryptography um algorithms and hashing algorithms so just make sure you print the objectives before you do anything before you start your study and it's the most important thing you're going to need for the exam the second thing i used was this book by Darrell gibson um the SY0501 study guide and this book is a jam and I was gifted this book on the first day of my internship um, by one of my superiors at work and if you ever watch this video thank you for this book and this book is really good I read it from the, f the beginning to the end uh, the good thing about this book is it starts with a pre-assessment to kind of um, just kind of like um, measure how much you know before starting your study so the pre-assessment i didn't do so well in the pre-assessment but it's a good thing because you know you get to kind of know where you stand at in level of preparation and how much you have to work on i also had a pdf version so i could read the book um on my phone on my laptop on my computer anytime i anywhere i was i could access the book and continue my reading anytime so that was that helped me really cover um, the book in like a couple of weeks i finished the book in three weeks and that was because i was not consistent with my reading so this book is a really really great book i recommend it for anyone i'm not much of a reader i not i prefer to learn more through videos and audio but this book has a really good font and everything text everything 
um, it's it's a really great read so make sure you grab it it's not too expensive it's about thirty dollars so it's a really great investment and it's it would also help you down the line um, maybe to reference things even after the security plus exam so another study material I used was the most trusted professor Messer and if you guys have watched my other videos about come to exams you know professor Messer is one of my most trusted resource um, first of all his videos his video series on YouTube is free like that is that is literally so amazing like one resource you don't have to pay for and it's a really good resource it's a really trusted resource his video playlist um, for the security plus is free um, it has all the videos you need covering each of the exam objectives and everything you know for everything you need to know for that exam objective so professor Meister is a really great resource I will always recommend him um, I also used his study groups because he like creates questions where he asks um, things you might probably see in the exam and his study groups are really really good so make sure you to use his resource any of his resources just use them I uh, also used his um, course notes um, I didn't really use them extensively I actually used them um, today before taking my exam just to kind of like look over um, some of the things I needed to brush up on um, I didn't really read all of it but I've used it previously in other CompTIA exams and they're really really good so I will definitely recommend them. Professor Messer is just a really um, great resource um, altogether and I, I cannot recommend him enough. Then the next resource um, is Mike Myers. Um, I use Mike Myers for both Network Plus and A Plus, so it only makes sense I use them for Security Plus. Mike Myers is a really, really great teacher. Um, other instructors are more like rigid and stiff, like they just talk, but Mike Myers really conversates and engages you in the course. So like, he's just a really, really um, fun person to watch teach. So <laughs> I would definitely recommend his course. His course is everything you need to know for the security plus and more so he he also teaches you things that you would also need to 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 properly function as a security professional and not just to pass the security plus exam so i usually use this course to start off my studies so i can just like get a like a wide overview of everything but his resource is really really good um the course is really really great i reckon i would recommend it for anyone i used it myself so recommending it to you guys the second one was Jason Dion, and Jason Dion's course is more specific, just like Professor Messer's. Um, it's everything you need to know just for the Security Plus, and um, it's really, really good. I think he has a really, really good teaching style, and he highlights every single thing you need for the exam. And one thing I like to recommend for the exam is to draw your information from different sources so you can kind of like map out different um, things and connect the dots between all of these different instructors. That's kind of, that's the way I learned. So I recommend that you use different resources um, because um, something you might not understand from one tutor or one resource, you might be able to understand from another tutor. So just try to diversify your study resources. So things that you could possibly expect on the exams. First of all, come to your words the exams in a really, really funny way. The exam questions are usually lengthy and scenario based. And the good thing about them is it makes you think of if you were in this scenario, what would you do? They're not like direct questions like, what is this? What is that? It's like, in this scenario, using this or when this happens, what would you do? So it makes you think. But the thing is, like, it's it's lengthy and you have to read in between the lines and kind of figure out what exactly they're asking for or what the best answer is. That's one thing about computer too. You have to find, there might be, all, all the answers might be correct, but you have to find which one best fits the situation. So that's something to watch out for. And um, keywords like not, list likely, just make sure you're reading the questions really, really, really carefully so that you don't miss the things that you need to see for the answers. I tend to be really impatient with reading exam questions, but when I'm taking like important exams like this, I try to calm down and read the questions line by line. And if possible, read the questions over again, like read it two times so that you can really get the information that you need. Also, know your port numbers because they're not going to directly ask you what is this port number. But they're going to ask you port number questions in like scenario based questions. So make sure you know your port numbers are just really important for you to know them. And then um, another thing is the performance based questions. I did not really see many resources that help with performance based questions. So. I really might recommend that you try practicing by yourself with um, um, command line, know your commands, um, 
for different users, your netstat, your nslookup, um, ipconfig, all of that, know your commands, just try to practice them, and if possible, look them up. Um, something that is also quite notable is Professor Messer's videos. Um, he, also, he also goes through the commands in some of the videos, so um, that might possibly help you with the performance-based questions. Another thing about the performance-based question is not just command line, it's sometimes drag and drop where um, you have to like fit certain scenarios to uh, certain conditions, just different things like that. So just be prepared, know your stuff, understand the objectives, and you should be fine with the performance-based questions. So another resource I used was Jason Dion's practice exams. He has these practice exams on Udemy, and for all of the resources I, I provide here, I'm going to leave a link to them in the description below so you can easily just access them. Um, so his, course, his practice exam course in Udemy has six practice exams and I only took three out of those practice exams. I only recommend that you try practice exams when you're sure uh, that you're done studying and then kind of refer back to topics that you missed on the practice exam so you can brush up on them. Um, Jason Dion has really good practice exams. Uh, Professor Meister also has really good practice exams, but I did not use his practice exams. Um, I had access to them, but I didn't use them. But as always, I always recommend Professor Meister's resources. So if you have access to it, um, use Professor Meister's practice exams too. Um, I know for sure they're going to be really good. So those were all the resources I used. So um, there are all, I believe there are all, several other resources out there, but I think these are the best resources um, that you could use for um, continuous security plus exam, A plus number plus security plus. Um, I don't know of any other resource that is as good as any of these resources. So I will always recommend any of these resources because they've helped me with my A plus and number plus and eventually my security plus. So please take um, advantage of them. I like I said, I will leave a link to I'll leave links to all of the the resources in the description box so you can have access to them. For me, the hardest thing about this exam was studying for this exam, combining it with uh, school full time because I'm currently a full time computer science major, and also co co combining it with my internship. Um, trying to find the time to study for this exam was a little bit difficult because I have to keep up with work, keep up with school assignments, tests, quizzes, and all of that. Um, but one thing I would say is um, just try to create a plan. Something I did not do for this exam was I didn't create a plan for this exam. I didn't have a set study schedule. So my studying was all over the place. Uh, there was a whole week where I did not study at all. And that really affected me because I like to be consistent with my study because um, it just helps me keep in the right frame of mind um, for the exam. So I would really, really recommend that you create a study plan, a feasible study plan, uh, maybe a 30 day study plan, a 60 day, 45 day study plan. However, whatever works for you. Uh, for me, I like to create like a 30 to 45 day study plan because for me, the longer I spread studying, the less I'm able to like retain information. I'm able to just like kind of relate to what I've learned before. So I try to study between 30 to 45 days, but I'm pretty sure for more complicated exams, it would take me more time. But for these, um, for the foundational exams, I usually schedule 30 to 45 days. And one thing to also do is before you start studying, schedule your exam. Um, I cannot recommend this enough. I did this for the A plus and network plus, but I did not do this for the security plus. And I know it affected me a lot because I wasn't really serious about my studying until I scheduled the exam. So make sure you study, you schedule your exam before you start studying. It kind of puts that pressure on you to uh, study because you know your exam date is coming, so you have to remember to study. So that's something to know. And something to also know is don't feel pressured to take your exam on your scheduled exam date. That date is just set for you, for your mind to know that, okay, I have something I need to do, uh, so I have to prepare earnestly for it. But if you don't feel ready for your exam at that scheduled date, you can you can reschedule, right, up until that day. You can reschedule the exam to another day. And then there, there's, there are no fees attached with this. You can reschedule as many times as you want. So um, just study to your level of understanding and your level of comfort, and then take the exam when you feel confident. Be confident when you're taking the exam. Uh, you, inter, inter, the entire time when I was taking the exam, I was really, really nervous, but um, I was confident of um, my studying, so um, I didn't really, I wasn't really scared as much. But be confident and you know, take the exam and pass the exam. Um, another thing is for if you are a student, if you have a college email, I don't know about high school, but if you have a .edu account, you can get CompTIA vouchers 
discounted. So I did not pay the full price for this exam. I got it like almost $100 off. So if you have a .edu account, that's something to note. Uh, the CompTIA ACAD store. Yeah, I think so. I will leave a link for it in the description box so that um, anyone who is a student can have access to it. Um, that's a really great way to get discounts for any CompTIA exam. So if you're a student, I do not recommend you pay full prizes for CompTIA exams. Just get them discounted. Another thing about the Udemy courses is Udemy has these discounts every now and then. So get these courses while they're discounted. You can get them for about 12 or $13 for the Udemy courses, which are Mike Myers course and Jason Dion's course. So get them discounted. Um, do not pay full price. The full price is about a hundred and something dollars. So wait for the discount and get those courses. Um, they're really, really great resources. So something I forgot to mention about the remote exam is um, I took it at home, like I said, and I had to unplug both of my monitors because I wasn't using them for the exam. So if you're taking it at a desk where you have monitors, just be sure that you're able to unplug the monitors and that you're able to clear out your desk because they will ask you to clear out your desk like they did to me. So um, it also really depends on the proctor because I, I, have, I had an other proctor that didn't make me clear out my desk, but they're gonna definitely make me clear, um, unplug it monitor. That's just something to note. So please take advantage of all these resources. Um, they're really, really good ones. They've helped me in my past exams and this current exam. So study hard. Um, um, try to understand what you're learning. Have fun while you're learning. I always say have fun with, with what you're learning um, because that way it sticks better. So I wish you all the best in your exam and leave a comment down below. How are you studying for your exam? When do you plan on taking your exam? Um, if you have any questions about the exam, just leave a comment down below and I will make sure to answer your questions or answer you or reply your comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.